In the previous video, we saw how to purchase and activate CB Exchange Service Inc. In today's video, we are going to show you how to configure CB Exchange Service Inc. to synchronize between multiple exchange users on different exchange servers. Before we start doing that, let me explain how it all works. We create a root user on each exchange server. On each exchange server, we give owner permission to the root user for all exchange users participating in this synchronization. We provide credentials of those two exchange root users to our CB Exchange Service Sync service. We create a sync pair between each two users, deciding what, how, and how often to synchronize between them. By doing this, we save a lot of your time and effort because you only type a password once per root user, which will save you time and effort during the first setup and even later when you change passwords. You don't need to provide individual user passwords in case they are not available or it's not desired to do so in addition to the fact that it's troublesome. You can easily include or exclude any user in or from the synchronization by allowing or denying the permissions to do its root user. Great, since we understood what we're going to do, let's do it. I already created my two exchange root users. I have here two exchange users. One is an Office 365 exchange user and the second is an exchange server 2013 user. On each exchange server, I will give owner permissions to the root user for the exchange user or users participating in the synchronization. Now, let's provide the Exchange Root users info to CB Exchange Server Sync Service. Log into your SAS Portal account. Go to Configuration, CB Exchange Server Sync, Server Configuration. Click Create New. Let's configure the first Exchange Root user. Type your Exchange Server URL. It's very straightforward. You put in your exchange server URL followed by forward slash EWS forward slash exchange dot ASMX. First root user is an Office 365 exchange user. And the server version will of course be Office 365. The username and the email will be the same. The exchange root user email address and of course the password. And to be sure we test our connection, perfect. The second exchange root user, as mentioned earlier, is a 2013 exchange user. Let's type the server URL. and the server version. The root username in this case will be the name of the user. The root email address, of course, is going to be the email address of that user. And finally, the password. Again, let's confirm. Great. Now CB Exchange Servicing Service can use those two exchange root users to synchronize between exchange users on each exchange server. But first, we need to say which users are participating. To answer this question, we go to Configuration, CB Exchange Servicing, we pair Configuration, 
Each pair, of course, can exist only between two Exchange users. So we'll create new. And now we set up the first Exchange user. Be sure that using root user is selected. Select the first server. I'm going to select the Office 365 Exchange server first. To find your Exchange user faster, type any part of the email in the first user filter and then select the user. We set up the second Exchange user in the same manner, but of course we select Exchange 2013 as our Exchange server. Great! We already decided which users are participating in the synchronization. Now we are going to see what options we have when it comes to synchronization. And as you can see, we can decide what items to synchronize. Inbox, sent items, deleted items, drafts, calendars, tasks or contacts. And from here, we can decide how often the service should check for updates. Please note, smaller intervals is better for faster and better synchronization, but it increases the traffic. Then of course, the start date of the synchronization. Please note that you can only enter this once. You won't be able to do this again. For example, if you decide to start synchronizing calendar items from 1st of October, you won't be able to change it to any date earlier than that, like the 1st of September. Synchronization type could be first to second, which means items created on the first exchange user will be synchronized with the second exchange user. Second to first, well, it's uh, the, the opposite to the one before. Bidirectional means items created on any exchange user will be synchronized with the other exchange user. And please note that also synchronization type cannot be changed later on. Last option here is include subfolders, which is effective when you synchronize mail folders, inbox, sent items, deleted items, and drafts. Now we click save to save this pair. As you can see, this pair was saved. We can edit it any time from here. As you can see, the start date and the synchronization type are disabled. Told you so. But we can add more items to this sync pair and of course, all items will be synchronized from the start date given here, and not from the date that you add them. You can also uncheck items from the sync pair and the synchronization of those items will be stopped from the dates you uncheck them. Since we didn't make any changes, let's click back to the list. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us today and please be sure to check out all of our videos on ConnectBridge Exchange Servicing. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.